we live? Oh, hello everybody. Sorry about that. The uh, game drive radio got into my ear again. Now, the reason we find ourselves in an enormous quarry thicket is because there's some very exciting news. And that news was that just before, after we left Karula, we came across a Biffleshook landowner who had been driving along, heading towards the Karula sighting when they spotted a leopardess and two little cubs this big crossing the road. Clearly Shadow and her little babies coming across into Arethusa. Now, no one was around here. They don't have radio comms for anyone here, so they couldn't tell anyone about it. And that's what we're now fairly frantically trying to find. Some sign of whether or not she is around here. Because it would be very exciting indeed to see Shadow and her two little babies, who can't be more than six weeks old. And as Tristan, I'm sure, said to you when he saw her the other night, just listening, they've got Impala alarm calling on Zebra Drive. That's just around the corner here. So we might be lucky. Hold on one second, everybody. I'm not sure how much of a sighting we'll get of them if we do, because there will be a dissension of you know, game drive vehicles second to none. Sorry, I just have to listen to the radio quickly. Right, let's see if we aren't lucky on the northern side of this drainage line where we first started looking. Let's just keep an eye out here. I mean, the grass is so thick through here to see a leopard and her little cubs would be very, very difficult. Ooh, hang on. Yeah, I thought I heard some birds alarm calling. I did not. I don't know if that was a communication from you, Kirsten. All I got was bang. Could have been the game drive channel. Here we go. Can I make my way there? Hold on, everyone. Okay, copy that. I'm behind you here at the junction, Zebra Drive and Parallel. I'll stand by here. It's a one vehicle sighting. They have found her. She's just over there. She's just there. We have to wait here, I'm afraid, everyone. We can't go in there. They're being very sensitive about it. The cubs are very small, so they've made it a one-vehicle sighting. And they'll try and stay with her, but obviously, if she goes into really thick stuff, then they're not going to follow her. She's I'd obviously just crossed here when we were around here. Anyway, while we wait here, let's go across to Jamie. I don't know what she's got. I'm going to just stick around here, and you might suddenly crash cut to us quickly for a view, and then it might be over. Thank you very much, man. Thanks a lot. Everybody, here we are. She's on the road here, apparently just crossing over here. There she is. Look, 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 look. There they are. Shadow and her two little babies. Tiny, tiny, tiny little leopards, about six weeks old. Oh, wow. Now we're going to stay far away from them because we don't want to give, put any pressure on them. And this is a one vehicle sighting and somebody else might want to come in here. And so we're just going to stay far away, but we've seen them now. And of course, it takes us straight back to when we first saw Shungile and Hosanna. Oh, look at them. Oh, that's just the most special thing in the world. We're going to have one more look around the corner, and then I'm going to let this chap who let us in go and have a quick look.
Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, we'll have one more look around the corner there. Let me just talk on the game drive. Sorry, chaps. Station on standby for the shadow sighting. I don't know if I'll be able to copy you, um, but when you're in a position, I'll move out. Look at them there. Craig, just try and stick on them. I know it's going to be a wobbly picture, but we can't get any closer than this. There she is looking at us. I don't know if they're male or female. We know that they're six weeks old. We think they were born at Red Dam. Monkey's going crazy. Oh, this is wonderful. And I don't know that they would ever have seen a vehicle before. This is awesome. Monkey's going crazy and you're all wishing shadow luck with these two. Well, we can only do the same. I just need to quickly turn the map on to check where I am. Because I don't want to ruin the chances of anyone else seeing. There they go. They look like they might be going into the drainage line there. Okay, she's just on the side there. Look, there's Shadow. They're the little ones. Where's the... Where is the next station? It's, um, it's Barry, but he's far. Is he far? Okay, so should we just stay here? They're six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant, hey? Absolutely amazing. We're gonna come visit you guys next week. Okay, cool. Cool. Look there the little ones are. <laughs> and now back on the road, Craig, back on the road. There's the other one. This is too wonderful. Now, we're not going to follow them, everyone. We're going to just wait and see if they don't pop out again. I'll just drive to the side of the road. We might get a brief view here. But we're not going to follow them off-road in there. They're too little. Isn't that special? <laughs> yeah... Linda, I have to say, I feel exactly the same as you. You've, you're having mixed feelings. You say, you're so glad she's got cubs, but at the same time, you're obviously quite heavy-hearted because of her record with cubs. And yeah, me too. Let's hope that she does better this time round with those two gorgeous little things. We know nothing about them. We know that they're six weeks old, plus minus. That's when Rex and Rex and he found the den some time back on Arethusa. But we obviously then weren't allowed to go to see it. Oh, very, very special indeed. We will just wait for that other vehicle to move out and then we'll move down in here. He was actually very kind to us. He's from Chitwa Chitwa and he let us in. And we'll have a look up the drainage there and just quickly see and then I'll have to report onto the game drive. Let's have one last look, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, she's back out. Look, look, look. There she is. She's going to sleep there. Okay, now, 
I am not going to move here. I'm just going to, well I am, I'm going to roll slightly forward. Those cubs, I don't know if they've ever seen a vehicle before, or how much experience they have of vehicles. And we're not going to have the best view in the world, but I think that they may well come out. If you can super zoom in there, Craig, and let's just keep our distance. Can you see her? Oh, look at the little one. Now we're just going to have to keep our distance here. And let's see if they don't pop out. Now Tristan apparently is saying that she used this area as a den before. I think he's sitting in the final control. So Tristan obviously knows these areas extremely well. And this is, I mean, you see these drainage lines have got little caves and things that a leopardess would keep her little cubs in. This is just fantastic. Mm. All right, um, I'm just gonna see if I can't call this in and try and figure out what the vehicle lineup is. We're gonna wait right here. Station on standby for Shadow coming. Okay, I've just waited here. She's popped out again. She's static in the drainage line um, on Zebra Drive between Eli Ali and Shortcut Matanduka. Um, I've got no visual of the little ones. I'm keeping my distance now, but make your way here. Come along Zebra Drive, and I'll move out when you get here. So what we'll do is wait here till the last possible minute special look 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 Ryan I reckon they're about six weeks old they are mobile no no about six weeks to two months Copy that, thanks Ryan. There goes Shadow. Shadow's moved out the drainage line. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Um, can you still see the little ones? Oh, you can. Shadow's moved out of the drainage. The little ones still there cleaning themselves, and they seem to be very relaxed, which is great news, of course. <laughs> I'm sure all of you are as excited by this as I am. Craig, have you ever seen a leopard this big? No. No? No, I mean, for Craig to even utter a word means that he's beyond excited. Now, what I don't want to do is drive down there with her not around. So I'm just going to move a little bit around the corner and see if we can't see Shadow up on the hill there. I can't see her. Now, you see, if she's left them to go hunting, that is a deeply careless place to have left them. That's not hidden from anything. Can you still see them there, Craig? Going to update the game drive. Stations Shadow has continued west along Zebra Drive. I don't have a visual. She may have stopped again, but I don't want to cross the Donga because the youngsters are still just on the northern side of the road in the Donga.
Oh, how special was that? I'm just going to look with my binoculars just to see if I can't get one last view there. Make sure the game drive. Oh dear. Can't get any comms on the game drive. Can't get any comms at all because I'm not plugged in. What an idiot. Sorry, station's lost comms there. I'm back up. Uh, it looks like Shadow has moved off west and the youngsters are in the Donga. I've got no visual of any of them at the moment. Got nothing there, Craig. All right, everybody, I think we're going to pull out now. I read you copy. Ariad, which side of Zebra Drive are you coming from? Okay, I'm afraid I'm struggling to copy you. I'm assuming you're going to be coming from the east. Um, yeah, maybe come to the head of the donga here. You might. I don't know if shadows carried on, but I don't want to cross the donga because the little ones are right next to the road. All right, we're just going to wait here for the next chap to come along, just in case shadow does come. And what I don't want to do is go down through here. And have I lost communications here? Is she talking to you? No comms. Kirsten, comms test. Oh dear. Kirsten, do you copy? Kirsty, Kirsty, come in. I think we've lost comms with the final control. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've kept my distance, Ryan, and so. She seems to have moved off slightly west on the road, so I haven't gone any closer. I think the youngsters are still in the drainage. I've got no visual of any of them at the moment. All right, we've lost communications with the final control, which means that I'm going to put my phone on. We may or may not be live. I don't know. I think we're probably going to leave here. I'm just going to wait for the next chap to make it in here. And then, um, well... That'll be it, and a highly satisfying morning it's been. I don't think there's any network here. There's no network at all. I'm going to move backwards slightly, and that might help us. Try now, Kirsten. I don't even know if we're live. Uh, there we are. Right, let's go across to Jamie. She's got something else to show you. I'll keep you posted.